Some of our templates have static header sections on the home page, meaning it doesn't have a carousel of photos that go around while other templates do have this carousel. This video is going to show you how to update your carousel text and images, which will in turn teach you how to change the images on the rest of your website since it's the same process. I would highly recommend using PNG image formats with transparent backgrounds when updating your website's images. This will make the image look nicer and more crisp on your website. The only time I wouldn't mind if the image was transparent or not would be for the carousel images since these images take up the full width of the web page instead of having a little spot on my page. Also you will need to make sure that your carousel images are 1920 by 1080 or larger. Anything smaller for the carousel will look grainy and distorted because the system will have to enlarge that photo to fit the real estate that the carousel takes up. When adding photos to any website, it's always good practice to upload larger images so that the photo quality is at its best when the system resizes it to fit that area. Each one of these carousel slides has text and a picture you can change. So think about what you want to say to your client when they visit your page for the first time and add a photo to go along with it. For example, if I service the DC area, I might want the text to say private and safe tours of DC and have a photo of DC in the background. Now that I've added my text, I'll update the image by clicking on that image and select the Browse button. This screen here has a few options that you can choose from. You can upload an image file from your device, or you can search for an image in the Upsplash section. Let's start with the Upsplash section to add a photo of DC. I'll type in Washington DC in the search bar, and then let the system load all the images. Next, I'll scroll through the photos to find one that I like and select it, then press the Select button. Last, I'll click the Update Background button. Now that we finished this carousel frame, I'll move to the next so that you can see how to upload a photo that's saved to your computer. And for the second text, I'll add Worldwide Ground Transportation and then click on the image that we want to replace. We'll select the Browse button, then under the Upload section there will be a few options at the bottom of the screen. The first option allows you to select a file from your computer. The one to the right of it allows you to add folders to the upload section so that you can stay more organized. The tag icon will allow you to rename the files so that you know what the pictures are of. This trash can icon will allow you to delete the files that you might not need and the file folders. I'll create another short video showing you how to organize this section using all these buttons. So for now, let's keep this video short and sweet. I'll click on the upload button, which will pop up my file explorer section. I'll go to the folder on my device that has the picture I want to add. Select the file and click the open button. Now that it's uploaded into my file section, I'll make sure that I have that file highlighted in blue, then click the select button. Last, I'll select the update background button to add it to my carousel slide. Adding photos to your website has never been easier. You will use the same process to update all the other photos on your website template. Simply click on the photo you want to replace, select the browse button, upload your image file, or search for a photo in the upsplash section. Click the Select button, and then select the Update Image button or the Add to Background button. Don't forget to publish or save your changes as a draft often so you don't lose your progress.